How good are you at guessing the auction prices as cars cross the block? Well, join me this week on the Collector Car Podcast for our first episode of Guess the Hammer, where you can show your expertise to all your friends by guessing the prices of some amazing cars that sold in Florida recently. Okay, this is a call out to my listeners. I do not have a lot of sponsors for this podcast on purpose because I don't want to waste your time with products I am not crazy about. Well, I do have two that I am crazy about. The first one is LLC TLC. This is where you can save money on your car registration. Every year, you can set up a Montana LLC and pay no sales tax on your vehicle purchases, which is really amazing. Now, you can also permanently register your classic cars in Montana to avoid any annual renewal fees. And as your registered agent, LLC TLC will handle everything for you so you never have to step foot in Montana to take advantage of this incredible offer. Now, as a listener of this podcast, they are offering 30% off your entire package. Now, to get this, simply go to llctlc.com slash classic or mention this podcast when you call them directly. My other big sponsor of this podcast is Euro Classics out of Dayton, Ohio. Now, that's Euro Classic with an x.com if you want to reach them in person you can reach them at 937-299-1311 now this is where i get all of the work done on my porsche i just had uh, my gto in there my mustang's been in there it is the place to go if you want awesome service at an extremely competitive price so when you go there just ask for dale and tell them that i sent you all right i'm going to kick this off with rm sotheby's and their uh, miami sale and so I'm going to pick five cars from each of the major auction houses during the Florida week. Uh, for this episode, I have Arm Sotheby's, I have Gooding, and I have Broad Arrow. I do not have Bonhams because they do not list their estimates in their results. And I do not have Mecham, the same reason. They do not list their estimates in their results. Otherwise, I would have them. All right, first for Guess the Hammer is this wonderful 1970 Boss 302, beautiful car. I saw this car in person at Arm Sotheby's Miami sale. Stunning color. Let's see, the estimate is sixty dollars to $80,000. Now these results, when you're making your guess, now these results include the buyer's premium. So it might hammer for one amount, but the final result will be higher because of the buyer's premium. Now this one is offered from a private collection, uniquely specified from the over 7,000 examples built for 1970. A previous rotisserie restoration, wonderful grabber orange over black vinyl upholstery. This one has some great options. It has the spoiler. It has the back rear window slats. It has the shaker hood scoop. So like I said, estimate sixty dollars to $80,000. How much do you think it hammered for? Well, I'll tell you right now, the final hammer price was $89,600. Our next one from RM Sotheby's sale is this. 1965 Maserati Sebring 3500 GTI series. Now the estimate on this one was 150 to 190 thousand dollars. This is one of only 94 Series 2 examples equipped with the 3.5 liter engine. This one retains matching numbers engine, beautifully done, dark maroon, black interior, documented with Maserati Classic K paperwork, including copies of the build sheet internal factory order, technical specification sheet, delivery sheet, and shipping notice. So it has all sorts of good documentation with it. Presented in the original color combination and equipped with optional factory Nardi wood steering wheel, retains the authentic Lucas fuel injection system. So stunningly beautiful car. The estimate was 150 to 190. Place your bids, place your bets right now. What do you think this hammered for? This one was quite a deal. All in with buyer's premium. This one sold for $114,800. Our next guest to hammer car from RM Sotheby's Miami sale is this. This 1954 Porsche 356 1500 Speedster. This is a great little car. Now the estimate is three hundred dollars to $400,000. This one was offered directly from over 30 years of single family enthusiast ownership, meticulously restored by its well-known enthusiast owners. The 159th of 200 Speedsters produced in 1954, the first Speedsters built. So this is one of the first 200 Speedsters ever built in its first year of production. Key point here, eligible for the Milli Milia and numerous other prestigious rallies. Wonderful history and presentation 
a speedster to enjoy. Now this one is white with a black top, black interior. Like I said, the estimate was $300,000 to $400,000. Place your bids now. What would you pay for this car based on this description and these pictures? It hammer sold all in for $302,000. Next from RM Sotheby's Miami sale is this 1989 BMW M3 convertible. This is a next generation collector car in wonderful colors, in wonderful condition. Now the estimate on this one is $150,000 to $200,000. Get ready to place your bids now. Offered from a private collection among the finest specimens of the 786 examples produced. So not a ton of them were produced. Currently indicates fewer than 4,000 kilometers, which is less than 2,500 miles at catalog time. Two recorded owners from new, finished in Macau blue metallic over black leather and black fabric top. That is such a dark blue, I thought it was black. All right, desirably equipped with dog leg five speed transmission, BMW cassette heated seats, onboard computer, wow, and light alloy wheels. So again, the estimate was $150,000 to $200,000. Place your bids now. Now's the time to try to get this car. What do you think it sold for? It hammered all in $190,000. All right, and lastly, from RM Sotheby's Miami sale, we have this 1995 Ferrari F355 Spider, 355 Spider. The estimate on this one is $175,000 to $225,000. These are highly desirable in today's marketplace. They've been doing very, very well. This is highly original preservation quality example driven only 988 miles at the time of cataloging. Fitted with the thrilling and highly desirable six speed gated manual gearbox, attractively finished in black over a biscuit interior with black convertible top with Scudiera Ferrari shields. One of approximately 3,703 55 spiders produced in total, of which less than 2,700 are said to have been fitted with a manual transmission. Now, this one has all of its invoices from 2016 to 2022, and including the important belt service, which was completed in November of 2021. All right, so the estimate was 175 to 225. Place your bids, get them in now. What would you pay for this car? This car all in, hammered for just under $241,000. All right, now we're off to Gooding at Amelia Island. This was a good event that happened over the car weekend. Our first car for Gooding is this, this 1984 Peugeot 205 T16. Now the estimate on this car was $225,000 to $275,000, offered without reserve. This is out an outstandingly highly original example, sold new to racing driver Henrik Cornette, subject to a recent high quality respray in its original metallic gray, accompanied by owner's manuals and records, a sensational 205 T16 Peugeot's most exciting homologation special. Now, like I said before, this one sold for 225, or estimate was 225 to 275. These Factory rally cars are very hot. Uh, now place your bids now, get them all in. What would you pay for this car? This one hammered sold just under the high estimate at 274.4. Our next car from Gooding's Amelia Island auction is this 1938 Bugatti Type 57C. This one, the estimate was 2.4 to $2.8 million. Stunningly beautiful car, black with gold, black with yellow accents, looks like a black interior. Now this is an outstanding example of the ultimate specification type 57. One of three supercharged examples originally fitted with alloy bodywork, delivered new to Paris, finished in royal blue or Havana leather, leather. So again, the dark blue is so dark in these pictures, it does look black. Displayed on the Bugatti stand at the 1948 Paris Motor Show, well-documented provenance with just one French owner for six decades. Retains matching number engine coachwork and beautifully preserved upholstery. Now again, the estimate was 2.4 to 2.8. Place your bids now. How much would you pay for this 
outstanding example of a Bugatti. This one hammered sold for $2.26 million. So it was just under the low estimate all in. Next from Gooding's Amelia Island sale is this 1957 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Roadster. This is a tremendously desirable model. People love to rally these much more so than the Goings. The estimate on this one is 2.2 to $2.8 million. One of fewer than 30 factory rudge wheel roadsters built. One of the finest, most original 300 SL. So it looks like it could be unrestored original paint car. Believed to retain original paint, interior, and soft top. Just three owners from new and kept by its second owner for 54 years. Meticulous work performed in 2019 by HK Engineering. Matching numbers, engine, body, chassis, steering box, rear end, and front axle carriers per copy of the factory build sheet. Now this one has a lot of cool stuff to it. The big thing here is the originality. In the pictures, they are being taken in the snow, which doesn't really feel right to me, but it is a beautiful, outstanding example. Estimate was 2.2 to $2.8 million. All in, it hammered sold for just over $2 million. And our last car from Gooding's Amelia Island sale is this, this 1990 Porsche 964 Carrera 4 re-imaged by, reimagined by Singer. Now the estimate on this one was 1.1 to $1.3 million offered without a reserve. Now this is one of 450 classic study restorations by Singer, only 37 with all wheel drive. This is called the Amsterdam Commission completed in 2017. Tastefully specified example finished in fashion gray pearl over olive green leather. Oh, that's a nice color combination. Just three owners since restoration showing a mere 3,300 kilometers when catalog, cataloged. A unique opportunity to acquire a handcrafted air-cooled 911 restored by Singer, shel seldom offered at auction. So great color combination, somewhat subdued. Again, the estimate was 1.1 to $1.3 million. Get your bids in. What would you pay for this car? All in with the commission, 1.16 million. So it just scraped above the low estimate with commissions all in. All right, now we're moving to Broad Arrow and the Broad Arrow auction from Amelia Island. They had some nice results, so let's take a look at a few of their cars. First one from Broad Arrow is a big car. This is a very special 1967 Ford GT. Now the estimate on this one was $4 million to $5 million. Now this is one of 31 GT40 Mark I road cars. Extensive history file, period press coverage, and exhaustive photography. Photographed history reported by Ronnie Spain, one of 20 cars assigned to Ford's promotion and disposal program, actively utilized for press promotions. The infamous hostage car originally delivered to the sales division of Scudiera Filippinini for display at the auto salon in Geneva. Photographed in period during demonstration drive with Grand Prix world champion Graham Hill. Known and unbroken chain of owners, including recent active historic racing participants and original private owner Anthony Bamford. So it's got some good ownership history there. Beautiful car. Like I said, the estimate was four to five million dollars. Get your bids in. What would you pay for this car? It Hammer sold for four point four oh five million dollars. So it hammered for four million dollars. You throw in the buyer's commission and it sold for four point four million dollars. Okay, next from Broad Arrows Amelia Island Auction is this 2022 Hennessy Venom F5. Beautiful, beautiful car. Very wicked looking. Now, the estimate on this one was $1.2 to $1.65 million. This is from the Racer X Collection. The second of just 24 Venom F5 chassis constructed by Hennessy Special Vehicle of Sealy, Texas, boasting unparalleled performance of zero to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, zero to 186 miles per hour in 10 seconds, an estimated top speed of over 300 miles an hour. Presented in color scheme of Lasana Silver <laughs> with ink leather interior, offered on behalf of its original owner with a recorded odometer reading of just 229 miles. Accompanied by its original factory documentation, window sticker, battery charger, and two good wool car covers. Now, this thing is quite the beast. Beautiful car. 
Like I said before, 1.2 to $1.65 million was the estimate. What would you pay for it? Get your bid in. This car hammer sold all in for $2.2 million. So it went above the high estimate, speaks to the rarity and the performance nature of this beautiful car. All right, next from Bart Arrows, Amelia Island Auction is this 1963 Bentley S3 Continental Flying Spur Sedan. Now the estimate on this one was 175 to 250. Now one of just three left-hand drive saloons with designated number 2001 slash A Flying Spur Coachwork, a desirable continental specification example with aluminum coachwork and a higher performing engine. Finished in silver over royal blue leather interior. Great, great color combination. Accompanied by Rolls-Royce Foundation documentation. Beautiful, beautiful car. Now the estimate again on this one was $175,000 to $250,000. Get your bids in. What would you pay for this car? All in, this car hammered for $174,000. All right, next from Broad Arrows, Amelia Island Sales is 1989 Mercedes-Benz 300 CE24 AMG Wide Body. Now this is a beautiful car. AMG cars are extremely hot right now. Uh, the estimate on this one was $175,000 to $200,000. Presented in striking signal red with a bespoke cream and red leather interior, which I love. Recently restored by Marquee Specialist in the United Arab Emirates. A Japanese market example believed to have been converted by AMG Japan when new. This one was recently imported to the United States in 2023. I don't know that red is the best color for this car, but I do believe the tan interior helps out. And if you see the interior, it's kind of wild. It's tan interior with red piping, which is interesting and has a bright red steering wheel and dash. So uh, let's see, the estimate was 175 to $200,000. This one hammered all in for $168,000, missing the low estimate but a stunning, beautiful car. Lastly, from the Broad Era auctions at Amelia Island is this, a 1997 Mitsubishi 3000 GT BR4. Now the estimate on this one was $60,000 to $80,000. This is a next generation collectible. These are very hard to find in very good shape, especially with low mileage. Now this one's offered with less than 7,400 miles at the time of cataloging. Long-term ownership from 1997 to 2020 reported to be one of 71 examples for 1997 finished in rare Panama green pearl, complete with books, tools, service records, and its original window sticker. Now the three liter twin turbo V6, six speed manual transmission is how it came equipped, full time all wheel drive and four wheel steering. All right, so what did this go for? The estimate on this one was 60 to $80,000. Get your bids in. What would you pay for this beautiful car? Wonderful color combination, dark green with tan interior. This one hammered all in, sold for $64,400. All right, well, that's it for this episode of the Collector Car Podcast. Thank you for joining me. Let me know if you like this Guess the Hammer. I will do more of them so you can have more of an interactive play. Uh, as you listen to this, you can make your guess uh, as far as what you think the hammer price will be and I will do more. I will do these also as shorts on my Instagram and YouTube channel so you can play along if you missed any of them. And as always, I will talk to all of you next week.